So I just quickly wanted to address a mistake that I made in the previous video, creating a component to detect enemies. And it happens around 17 minutes and 30 seconds where we set the offset. Now, the problem is that we are adding the current attack hitbox.x and .y to our player's transform.position. But the problem is that this is actually referring to one of the corners of the rect and not the actual center of the rect, which is what we're looking for. So if we take a look at our code, over here, our overlap box all takes in a vector2 point. And if we take a look at the documentation, you'll see over here that point refers to the center of the box. Now the offset that we're passing in as the center of the box is actually a corner of a box. So all we need to do is in our offset.set, instead of saying hitbox.x and hitbox.y, we just say hitbox.center.x and hitbox.center. Dot y. And why is this important? Well, you'll see if we take a look at our on draw gizmo select function, I just drew another version of our hitbox, one that uses hitbox.position, which is just shorthand for hitbox.x and dot y, and hitbox.center. And if we take a look at Unity, so I just run the game in such a way that the gizmos will be drawn for us. You can see here that for sword one, if we lock that, the red is what the hitbox was before based on these settings and white is what we wanted. So because we were using dot center to draw our gizmo, this white hitbox looked correct. This is what we wanted, but this is actually what we got. So now by using dot center in the offset dot set function, we get the correct hitbox instead. And that's pretty much it. So yeah, bye.